this is going to be my in-depth jewel crafting guide. Um, only things you're going to really want to know is that you're going to need 10 mining to do this. And obviously getting the 10 mining isn't that hard. And also, if you would like to, go check out the New World map. I'll be putting a link for that in the description. And also, go check out my new silver farm video. That would be super helpful for this as you need a lot of silver ore. And uh, that will have all the information for tools, armor, and perks, and all that kind of stuff for gathering rates and yields. But if you want a quick rundown, you're going to need mining luck on your armor. And that's super easy to go buy in the shop. But I will put that perk on screen right now. And the only other thing is going to be that for making the jewelry itself, it doesn't matter whether you're trying to do... Um, silver platinum gold whatever it is just purely because um it doesn't actually change the xp rate so i definitely recommend just sticking to uh silver ingots and silver settings and silver chains as they're the easiest to get and make so um yeah that's pretty much it uh, i guess only other notable thing is as you uh, scrap items it will obviously be giving you some materials back um, flawed giving you ingots silver ingots and um, normal jewelry just are common will be giving you uh, flawed gems and silver ingots back so um yeah other than that nothing really much to uh, say but i will say something about moats moats are going to be super useful as they are required to be making all of the stones before you can use them on the jewelry um, you can make the moats in the arcana station you're going to need five per moat you want to make or five per wisp five moats per wisp there you go and um yeah if you want to make the bigler ones it's going to take four per so yeah it's just kind of dependent on what you want to do but I definitely say you're going to want to be sticking with flawed jewelry for the most part as it will just be yielding you the most XP and it will be the best possible way to do it really especially taking into account that the brilliant gems and the pristine gems are pretty hard to get your hands on so um, yeah let's get straight into the 0 to 50 so for 0 to 50, you're going to be needing a total of 11,125 XP. And you are going to be wanting to make 51 flawed amulets of any kind. And this is taking into account the XP gain for silver settings and silver chains for all of these. Um, just a little note. So, yeah. And uh, that is going to be requiring you to have... 2,040 silver ore and 102 moats of different variation for whatever gems you're cutting. So yeah, pretty simple. Obviously nothing too uh, big with this one, but uh, yeah, let's move on to 50 to 100. Now for levels 50 to 200, it's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be recommending that you just make the common and brilliant stuff as you go. And that is why everything from here on out is going to be kind of a squiggly line because this is I'm going to say what you need total um, But obviously it'll take less if you're making common and brilliant gems along the way So um, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get into 50 to 100 So for 50 to 100 you're going to be needing 86,250 XP and you're going to be needing to make 394 flawed am amulets squiggly line you know and that is going to be requiring a total of 15,760 silver ore and 788 moats of all varieties depending on the gem you're cutting but yeah other than that um same thing applies just make whatever you can really if you'd like to or save them up to craft them into brilliance later on but obviously that won't be going towards jewel crafting so let's go on to 100 to 150 for levels 100 to 150 you're going to be wanting to still make flawed jewelry it's going to be requiring a total of 415,675 xp and you're going to be needing to make 1898 or 1898 flawed jewelry or amulets 
and again squiggly line with that and that is going to be requiring a total of 75,920 silver ore and 3,796 moats. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward, easy one on that. And uh, yeah, let's go on to the next. For levels 150 to 200, you're going to be needing a total of 1,465,750 XP. And that is going to be requiring you to make a total of 6,693 flawed amulets. Uh, squiggly line of course and that is going to be requiring a total of 267,720 silver ore and 13,386 notes of different varieties um, so yeah it's pretty straightforward nothing too crazy uh, just basically make flawed gems common amulets and brilliant amulets but I definitely say pristines are a bit of a waste of time i definitely say go cut your pristine gems but making them is just 2000 jewel crafting per so it's just not really worth in the end um, especially if you are using your smaller jewels to make them into pristine jewelry definitely not worth in the long run so yeah only th other thing than that is uh, i'm gonna go check out locations and stuff real quick it's just on the new world map so um yeah let's hop over to that all right, again, this is going to be the New World map. I'm basically going to show you all of the uh, locations of any kind of resource that you need to find. Um, so definitely super helpful. Uh, for silver especially, there's a ton of it, as you can see. If you want to go check out my silver farm, um, it gives you about 7k silver per hour. And uh, definitely a solid spot. It also gives you some iron and star metal, so definitely a go-to if that's what you're looking for. But other than that, there's going to be the moats, obviously, which is pretty nice to be able to figure out where they are in um, big abundances. So, um, yeah, I'll be trying to make a video on a quick guide for where to farm uh, these guys at, but it's a little bit different just because there's a wide variety of them. But no matter what you're looking for, of course, there's going to be like little areas where there's just a bunch of the same one and you can definitely go farm that pretty easily. So, yeah, I uh, hope that helps and I hope that the video helps. I hope, so. hope it all makes sense. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, yeah, definitely put them in the description or in the comments or do a comment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Um, anything that I can do better, be sure to comment. I really appreciate all the uh, criticism and points and stuff to just help out me make better videos. So, yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.